eight and four hundred people and then say, talk about the passion of your life for 30 minutes. I don't know if that's a good idea or not, but I might be excited to be here today because what I have stood for for years on this island is preventive health care in children. And this is my burden, this is what my whole practice centers on. And to be able to talk about that is exciting to me. When I was a kid, I remember going to the doctor only when I needed my warts taken off, or when I broke my arms, or I needed to be stitched, or my burns fixed, or a few other things like that. Maybe for a cold or two. But the only time we ever went to a doctor for a physical is when we went up to high school and they wanted to make sure we didn't have epilepsy or polio or something like that. And that we were actually not really dumb or totally psychotic and so we got physical. When you look at preventive care children, it can be broken down basically into about three year intervals. And near each of these segments, our infants, our preschoolers, our early, our early elementary, middle elementary, our middle school, high school, each of these has different unique needs, different unique problems, different unique things. We tend to break our thoughts of preventive medicine into those categories. The goal of preventive medicine is to not make children well, not keep children well. The goal is to prevent the children from being unwell. And that's really far reaching. To do that, first you gotta know what the threats to all this are. What are the problems? What can happen? You have to know what you're looking for. Then you gotta have some way of looking for it. If there's some potential problems out there, how are you going to find them? Once you've found those problems, what are you going to do about it? Uh, preventive medicine is not just finding and treating diabetes. It's not just saying, oh, this child is heavy. Let's get him into PE. It's far more intervention than the interventions are designed at making sure he never gets heavy, not taking care of what's there. 